going in, you automatically think of the pros and cons and, and the real and the imagine. And, you know, I shared with you earlier about how certain clients think it's all great to read about it, think it's wonderful, but then when they find out that they are an integral part of the success of the project, they kind of back up. Going in, you know, from your perspective and what you can discern from your client and the other entities, what were the pros and cons and how did they actually turn out? Were they realistic? Were they imagined? Or uh, I think um, the pros far outweighed the cons, uh, but, but the actual alignment and construction of the contract and processing through the insurance issues were somewhat cumbersome, mm -hmm. not insurmountable, mm -hmm. but very time consuming. Mm -hmm. No, the time consuming you had mentioned before, from the, when they first approached you to you, the time you really got everything in place, how long did that take? So the, uh, the initial uh, defining uh, the, the benefits and how we were going to behave um, and understanding the tenets of IPD was really actually quite fairly quick. I mean, mm -hmm. we, we did that over the course of, of one or two workshops. Right. And after, the, after one or two workshops, we developed the memorandum of, of understanding that guided our behavior. Right. And actually getting to the point where we could sign a contract was about eight months later. Mm. So the, the entire duration was from the early onset to actually you know, sealing the contract was, was about a year. Right. But a lot of that was the, the work it took to write all the exhibits, to uh, procure the insurance, because these were manuscripted policies. So right. nothing, nothing was off the shelf. The contract language itself, the insurance and all the exhibits, was really, we, we call that the first collaborative act of the team <laughs> with developing the contract. Which is important because it sets the tone yeah. very much. You know, uh, if you really wanted to collaborate, let's collaborate in writing the contract, not you write, not me write, let's right. figure out what to do together. Um, type of thing, but you know, so often we have a perception of something. We develop a list of pros and cons, and you know, some of those turn out to be real, maybe not as real as we thought they were going to be, and some turn out to be totally imagined, and maybe not as you know um, as imagined as we thought they would be. One of my early perceptions, which which I self-corrected very quickly, was how the cost structure worked, out. because in IPD. Everyone has skin in the game, mm -hmm. and the parties to the contract put their profit at risk. And my initial understanding was that profit was at risk until the final success of the job at the end. Right. Well, the way for the three-year month, three year duration of this project, we structured it as there were milestones and progress payments of profit along the way. Right. It was subject to a clawback, but we were receiving that, some of that along the way. So. One, that was one of my initial concerns about IP. We're going to see the benefits until three years down right. the road. Right, and on a long project, that's, that's not tenable. Right, right. Uh, but, but we were able to structure the contract so that we, we got progress payments. So that was one of my early fears that was a wave. And, and one final question about the whole initial process. <clears throat> Owner came to you and said, this is what we're going to do. There was no question about it. How much of a cultural change and how much effort did it take to get your firm and its principles and its yes. people to, to, to buy into this um, concept? Thankfully, I have, um, I have partners who are, who are willing to listen and share in the education. So we did, we did internal education on IPD. And at the end of the day, when we really thought about it, most of the projects we're on are profits at risk. It's just, it's just at risk in terms of the way we, we would uh, succeed in delivering a project. This was, this was at risk um, more tangibly, mm -hmm. um, but it also had the reward of we were paid our direct costs plus our overhead yeah. plus a portion of our profit. Right. So, and we were insured that all the way along. Right. So in some ways, this was less risk to us because every hour we worked, we were paid for. And then under a standard lump sum AIA agreement, you are not <laughs> guaranteed to be paid for every hour. Right. So when we really looked at taking on a very large, very complex project, and from the get-go knowing that we would be paid for every hour we worked, mm -hmm. that wasn't a huge risk. In fact, it was less risk, risk than we might normally be exposed to. And so when we thought about it that way, we actually got well, comfortable sure. pretty quickly. But it took a mindset change oh, uh, from traditional sort of thinking, but that was part of the education process. Yeah.